friends, it's Dwight. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having a great start to the weekend. So today we're gonna do a painting. Go figure, I'm gonna be doing a large one, my favorite size, which is a 30 by 40 canvas. So I'm gonna be repurposing an old painting. I've already painted over it black um, to give me sort of a fresh start on top of the canvas there. Um, I'm gonna be using primarily Arteza brand paints. So I'm gonna be using, I think, blue and green, um, some red. And I'm gonna use some white in between some of the layers, but I'm gonna be using not Artist Loft white this time, but Dazzling Metallics Pearl White. So that's gonna be my white. And I'm gonna do something different. Now, I don't use a lot of props when I paint. I just use my cups and I pour on my canvas. But about two years ago, um, I did a dump and swirl, but I did it with um, a colander. I did it like a colander pour. And, um, you know, it was fun and the painting turned out pretty nicely. Um, I just happened to see the video the other day. It popped up on my YouTube channel feed and I was like, oh, I forgot about that one. Cool. So yeah, here you go. I got my colander here. So I'm gonna be using that today um, and be using these um, paints with this type of pour. So something different, just something to kind of um, energize the start to the weekend here for me. So we'll see how that goes. Okay guys, I'm gonna go mix my paints in just a few moments. I will show you the colors and we'll go from there. Okay, hope you're having a great day and we'll see you real soon. Okay guys, I'm back. Here we are for the um, paints I'm gonna show you. And I'm gonna be pouring them pretty much in this order. And I'm gonna put some extra white in between these two layers here. So I'll start out with white, pour the, that's a jade green, and that's from Arteza. Um, and this is a sky blue from Arteza, scarlet red, Payne's gray, uh, ocean blue. Um, and this is a little bit of the um, scarlet red with a little bit of the Payne's gray in it. And then this is pearl amaranth. <laughs> Red. I don't even know if I'm saying that correctly. So let me show you the bottle and then we can all pronounce it together. Okay. It's a marinette. Yeah. Anyway, it's sort of a red or kind of like a salmon color. Um, so I'm going to have some red in this painting. And if you remember my last painting, the red kind of took over. Um, and I like that. I like it because it's mixed with the other colors. So I am going to be doing a colander pour. I'm going to do this in the middle of the canvas. Um, it's going to be ugly, <laughs> so I know you've seen some other artists do it and they make these beautiful patterns and designs. That's not my goal. My goal is just to pour it through the colander so that the color is going in different spots in the circle and not just on top like I d usually do, like a pancake. Um, this way the colors will be um, in different spots on the white and so it might translate more nicely on the canvas. So we'll see that hopefully in a few moments here. One more reminder, um, I mix my paints, all of my paints, including the black dump paint, the same way. And that's about one part paint, two to three parts Floetrol, a drizzle of Liquitex pouring medium and water to thin. Now I'll show you once again how thin my paints are. It's just kind of going right in. Okay. That red looks a little bit thick to me. Yeah, the blue looks a little bit better. There you go. Okay, so that is it. So let me um, just double check all my paints, mix them up again if I need to, so that the paint doesn't settle in the cup a little bit, and we'll get started. Okay, guys, hold on. Hey guys, here we are. Here is sort of a walkthrough of the actual pour. So I first wanna say hello to all my friends out there. I hope you guys are doing great today. So yeah, I've used this colander I think once before in a pour I mentioned, um, but not on a canvas this large. So I have a larger colander and maybe I should have thought about that, but it still works out okay. So I start with the white. Uh, I like to have white on the bottom or mixed in because it brightens up the colors. And I started with that sort of uh, jade green. And then I went to the sky blue on top of that. And then this lovely color, that scarlet red, it's such a nice color. Um, I like it a lot actually, it's so bright 
and it's intense, I guess is a good way of, of stating that. So then I added, uh, I believe, the Payne's Gray. And I think when you look at the final results, you'll see that it darkened things up a little bit. But that's okay. Um, I don't use Payne's Gray that often in pores. If I do, I sometimes will add some white to it to make it more of a, a dark blue, but not quite a navy. So I poured the rest of the white in. Uh, looks like I'm making a big old soup. Here's that beautiful ocean blue. Again, these are all uh, Arteza brand paints except for the white. And the white was Dazzling Metallics Pearl White. And again, there's the scarlet red with a little bit of Payne's gray in it, just a tad to make it darker. And then that um, pearl, oh, I still can't pronounce it, red. So it's almost like a pink or salmon color. I just want a bit of a contrast. So I'm looking at it, I'm thinking, not a lot of paints come out. There's still some paint on the bottom. I think what I mentioned earlier about my colander, the sides, there are no um, drain holes on the sides. So um, I had to lift it up. And then what I had to do was to slowly move it around because there were some paints around the edge inside. And I wanted to get those into the holes that were um, in the middle of the colander there. So I just decided I was going to move it around. I wasn't going for a beautiful looking um, colander pour down below, as you can tell. It looks like a mess, but that's okay. I have all that color in there. So if you can see inside the colander a little bit, I'm moving it around to get as much as I can to drip out because um, I need as much paint as I can to make sure that I can cover the canvas. Okay, we'll just move that out of the way and we will get the black dump paint. You can see how thick the paint was. You see that first splash of black and went way down inside, which is good, which is good because I think sometimes it sort of helps the um, center close up some. And I think you'll see that when you watch the um, time-lapse part of this video. So I wanted to do a classic swirl because I wanted to get that black covering most of the color. So I'm swirling it around to make sure that I don't lose color when I tilt it off. So I was taking my time. I didn't want to rush. Back to that corner and then the final corner. And you can start to see the color starting to come through, which means it's going to be a great pour. And I'm going to have a lot, a lot of cells. Okay. So, um, again, I move the canvas around a little bit. I bump it around to get some of the bubbles out. And, of course, I use my um, heat gun, which I'll do in just a moment here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause and I'm going to just let you watch the rest of this into the time lapse to see the final results. And I'll see you in the wet results in just a minute. friends, it's Dwight. Here we are with the wet walkthrough of this pour. I'm 
excited. I love the way it looks. Um, I'm also liking this little white through here. And I was just thinking as I was looking at this that I'll probably go in and add a little bit of white to these cells just so it sort of, you know, brings it all together. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Let me show you some of the cells. Now I've got these interesting cells going on over here and through here. And so what that says to me is that the canvas um, has some weight, a lot of weight right there. Um, that can happen with an old canvas. If it stays like this, I'll be happy. But if these get really drawn out, uh, I'll be sad. But I love the composition. Um, yeah, it was interesting using the colander. The color seemed to mix more than I was hoping for. Uh, but still, I, th I think it, it filled in nicely, and it's still one of my favorite Dumpin' Swirls. Because um, again, I'm gonna, I am gonna—I want to be able to hang it this way. Um, so we'll see. We'll keep working on it. Okay, guys, thanks for joining me today. Sorry for the glare. I have this window up here. Yikes. And it has no curtains on it. And then when I put something over it, it doesn't work really well. So uh, it is what it is. So you guys have a great day. We'll see you real soon.